A thought struck me the other day. When Christmas happened 2000 years ago, nobody knew it was Christmas. People were busy with their own lives, their own pain, challenges, brokenness, no time or even the energy to experience something different. People lived in a world of darkness and hopelessness. Total despair. 2000 years later, today in 2020, it is no different. The pain of 2020 has overwhelmed the world. Beneath the external celebrations of the season, there's a fear and anxiety. A fear and anxiety of how will 2021 look like? But God's word presents the power of the first Christmas to pierce the deepest darkness. Isaiah 9 gives a glimpse of the first Christmas when Jesus was born and how his birth can give us hope. The Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 9, nevertheless, the time of darkness and despair will not go on forever. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, the government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isn't that good news? The good news for all of us today, regardless of what you are facing, the hope of Christmas is this. This is the hope of Christmas. Firstly, the darkness will not go on forever. There will be light at the end of the tunnel. Amen. Second part of this good news is this. The birth of Jesus is the light in the darkness. Hope in the hopelessness. And the third part of this good news is this. Jesus with you promises to be all that you need. Isn't that amazing? Jesus will counsel you. He will be your mighty God, your everlasting Father, your Prince of Peace. This Christmas, our prayer for you is this. My prayer for you is this. Let us stay close to the light of Jesus, regardless of how dark it is around you. God bless you.